The future of warfare is unfolding now in China, where the People's Liberation Army is fielding robotic tanks. These unmanned ground vehicles are not just prototypes, they're real, armed and increasingly sophisticated, designed to operate on the modern battlefield. China's strategy is clear, build an army where humans and machines fight side by side, and sometimes where machines fight alone. The PLA is rapidly deploying a diverse family of robotic combat vehicles, from nimble scouts to heavy, autonomous main battle tanks. The goal isn't just to replace soldiers in dangerous roles but to create a networked intelligent force that can overwhelm adversaries with speed and efficiency. This marks a new chapter in military history, where algorithms and AI are as vital as armor and firepower. While other nations are developing unmanned systems, China's progress stands out for its speed, scale, and strategic vision. The PLA is building an entire ecosystem communication networks, AI-driven command centers, and integrated drone support. These robotic tanks are not isolated novelties. They're core components of a technologically advanced fighting force. Their deployment raises profound questions about the nature of conflict, the role of the human soldier, and the ethics of war. The revolution in military robotics isn't coming, it's already here. Meet the Sharp Claw 1, a compact, unmanned ground vehicle from Norinco, designed for agility and precision. Its mission act as a robotic vanguard, scouting ahead of troops for reconnaissance, urban warfare, and forward observation. Armed with a 7.62mm machine gun and advanced sensors, it can engage threats and relay real-time intelligence, all while keeping soldiers out of harm's way. Automatic target tracking lets it lock onto and follow enemy movements with minimal human input. The PLA is actively testing Sharp Claw 1 in sensitive border regions, integrating it into regular training and fostering a new human-machine partnership. In urban combat, it can clear rooms, scout for ambushes, or draw enemy fire, providing invaluable support to infantry. Vehicles like Sharp Claw 1 are at the forefront of China's robotic warfare strategy, performing the dull, dirty, and dangerous jobs of soldiering. China's transformation of the old Type 59 tank is a striking example of military innovation, Instead of scrapping thousands of aging tanks, engineers are converting them into unmanned, AI-driven combat platforms. The process strips out crew compartments, replacing them with electronics, sensors, and an AI brain for autonomous navigation and targeting. Early versions were remote-controlled targets, but new models operate in coordinated formations, executing complex maneuvers without direct human control. These robotic tanks can distinguish friend from foe, prioritize threats, and engage targets autonomously. The conversion leverages existing hardware, making it cost-effective to field a large unmanned force. Unmanned Type 59S can lead charges, breach defenses, or absorb enemy fire. Missions too risky for crewed vehicles. This approach turns military history into a futuristic weapon, redefining the role of heavy armor. By repurposing old tanks, China is creating expendable robotic breachers for high-intensity ground combat. The result? A new class of heavy robotic assets, changing the dynamics of the battlefield. China's UGV-01 is a purpose-built multi-role unmanned combat vehicle. Neither a scout nor a converted tank, but a true robotic hunter-killer. It balances mobility, protection, and firepower, armed with a heavy machine gun or small cannon, and can keep pace with mechanized infantry. A standout feature integrated drone support, letting it launch aerial drones for extended surveillance and target identification. UGV-01 is a node in a wider network, sharing real-time data with other robots, drones, and command centers. This enables robotic wolf packs to coordinate attacks, suppress threats, and adapt to changing conditions with minimal human input. A squad of UGV-01S can secure flanks, patrol wide areas, or conduct autonomous attacks, all guided by onboard AI. Machine-to-machine -machine collaboration is central to China's vision for AI-driven warfare. UGV-01 is more than a remote-controlled gun, it's a semi-autonomous agent pushing the PLA closer to a roboticized force.
At the 2024 Shenzhen Defense Exhibition, China showcased its robotic tanks in live-fire coordinated drills. Multiple unmanned vehicles executed complex maneuvers in formation, maintaining spacing and providing mutual overwatch, just like a human armored unit. When a target appeared, one UGV laid down suppressing fire while another flanked for the kill, demonstrating real-time teamwork. The robots engaged targets with live ammunition, proving their accuracy and lethality. This public demonstration sent a clear message. China's robotic tanks are operational, not just concepts. The event built confidence within the PLA and signaled to the world the advanced state of China's military robotics. By showing effective multi-agent coordination, China proved it's solving one of the toughest challenges in military robotics. The era of robotic platoons is not a future vision, it's a present-day reality for the PLA. China's robotics program aims to create powerful human-machine teams, not just autonomous machines. In PLA drills, robotic tanks are integrated with human soldiers, manned vehicles and drones for combined arms operations. Aerial drones scout enemy positions, relaying data to command posts, while robotic tanks like Sharp Claw 1 or unmanned Type 59S advance ahead of infantry. These robots provide real-time video and thermal imagery, giving soldiers unprecedented situational awareness and reducing risk. In action, robots draw enemy fire and suppress positions, allowing human squads to maneuver and assault objectives. The machine absorbs risk, humans exploit opportunities, multiplying unit effectiveness. Data from ground robots and drones is fused at command centers, enabling coordinated multi-domain operations. The PLA's human-on-the-loop approach keeps commanders in control, directing teams of autonomous systems. China is training its forces to fight with robots as trusted partners, not just tools. China's robotic tanks are part of a larger AI-driven war ecosystem, where every asset is interconnected in a vast intelligent network. The true power of these machines is unlocked when they operate as nodes within this system of systems. At the core is a sophisticated C4 ISR network, collecting and analyzing data from satellites, drones, and ground robots. AI-assisted command centers process this information, helping commanders predict enemy actions and coordinate responses. Targeting data can be passed instantly from a robotic tank to artillery or aircraft, ensuring the right weapon is used for each threat. The system learns and adapts in real time, improving with every engagement. Robotic tanks act as mobile, armed sensors and shooters, extensions of the network's will on the ground. China's holistic approach is building not just better robots, but a smarter, faster and more integrated war machine. China's robotic tanks have sparked debate. Is this the end of the traditional crude tank? Some experts say unmanned systems will make manned tanks obsolete. Robots can be smaller, lighter, and sent on the riskiest missions. Robots don't tire, don't need life support, and can react faster than any human gunner. As autonomy improves, the advantages of unmanned tanks become hard to ignore. Others argue that human intuition and adaptability remain irreplaceable on chaotic battlefields. The future, they say, is hybrid manned tanks commanding swarms of robotic wingmen. In this model, robots handle the most dangerous tasks, while humans provide high-level direction and decision-making. The tank's role is evolving, not disappearing, becoming part of a more complex human-machine team. The consensus, the era of the tank isn't over, but its future is increasingly robotic. The battlefield will be shaped by partnership, not replacement. China's robotic tanks are no longer future concepts. They're active, operational, and reshaping the PLA's arsenal. From agile scouts to heavy AI tanks and networked hunter killers, these systems mark a real shift in military capability. China's strategy is comprehensive integrating robots, drones, satellites, and AI command centers into a unified force. Live fire drills and multi-domain exercises are forging new human-machine combat doctrines. The implications for global security are profound, challenging old assumptions about warfare and the role of the human soldier.
Projecting lethal force without risking human lives changes the calculus of conflict. China's robotic tanks are a clear signal. The future has arrived ahead of schedule. The robotic revolution isn't on the horizon. It's here.